dahil lalaban pa rin tayo kahit na medyo wala na tayong book lessons. Kaya pa rin yun. Hello <laughs> Kumars! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and yes, it's me again, your Kumars. And I'm back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna share to you my day-to-day -day journey on my very first complete cut-off here in Native Camp. That's a period from June 1 to 15, 2020. This is this is my account's first exposure after NC ended my free reservation tag that lasted for a week. That's a week long of taking advantage of the free reservation tag, a week long of pakikipaglaban at pagpupuyat. Sana all pinagpupuyatan at ipinaglalaban. <laughs> But before that, I'd like to thank you mga Kumars for the 390 subscribers na patuloy na nakaabang kahit na madalang na ako mag-upload dito sa aking YouTube channel. But I will really do my best to upload once in a while. Road to 400 subscribers na ta! Yes! Yes! Arigato! Arigato! Salamat! Salamat kaayo sa inyong support ha. Salamat sa pag-subscribe! And for those of you who have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe and you may also turn on the notification bell so that you will be posted on my latest upload just like this video! Yeah. So here's my journey from June 1 to 15, 2020, my very first native camp, complete so come and join me as I share to you my daily journey. Okay, so let's start with the very first day of June. We have June 1, 2020. Hello, hello fellow native camp teachers. Hello everyone, hello mga kumars. So it's the first day of uh, June and it's the first day of our cut-off. So I just filmed this video because I want to like keep on track on the earnings that I do on a daily basis. Because maybe this might inspire aspiring native camp teachers or applicants. This is my last day for the free reservation tag where students can just book me freely. On this day, on my last day of free reservation, I still had around 110 booked classes on this day. But during that day, more or less three students canceled the class. I don't know. If a student canceled your book class with late notice, we teachers, although we don't conduct the class we still get paid by 27 NCC or 27 pesos for the Filipinos. Can you believe it? I still have 110 reserved or book classes. Um, you might be wondering how I did that. Mm -hmm. Here's my tip on how I entice my students to still book in my class. Although um, my free reservation tag or badge has to end today, June 1. Okay, I open my slots ahead of time. So although I have to end my free tag here in June 1, I open slots until June 7, which is a Sunday. So that's why students were really enticed to book straight on my open schedules. They thought that my free, I think they thought that my free reservation tag would last for that week long. Especially those who have just booked my class on that day. They strike while the iron is hot. So yes, that's what I did and that's what the students think they did. That's the main reason why I still have a lot of book reservations for this cut off. Yes, 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 yes. So from June 2, 3, and 4, it's a normal class day. I attended to all the booked classes. I got around more or less five canceled classes on the span of three days because I think some students noticed that they have to pay more if they would still pursue with the book class that they have on my schedule. But it's okay because I was able to do some sudden classes in between book classes. Not until June 5. Eto na siya. Because I think I overworked from May 20 until June 5. So I was so tired my body was so tired i felt that i've overworked and i was so stressed so i wasn't able to wake up for my alarm so yeah i started the day with a cancellation before you earn something on that day you already have the negative 80 on your dashboard i'll show you that one yes so with that i had to say goodbye to the 550 no cancellation incentive. What? Since I woke up late, I think I had rested enough. So I have to make bawi of the negative 80 that I had on the very first hour of my 
open schedule. So for today, this is what I've earned June 5. Which is more than enough. Yeah, I was grabbing the opportunity to open a lot of schedules as much as possible, you know? Dahil lalaban pa rin tayo kahit na medyo wala na tayong book lessons. Kaya pa rin yun sa ating class. Diba? And yes! And now it's June 6. Yes! Dumalaban tayo sa araw na to dahil nakompleto natin yung 100 lessons. So this June 6, I was so lucky that I received a cancellation pambawi 550 pesos that is called the lesson incentive that's when you conduct 100 booked or sudden classes for one cut off so nabawi rin natin nabawi rin natin hmm. yes. so next day na june 7 so for today this is the start na medyo not feeling well na talaga ako Ito na talaga yung resulta ng pag-overwork. Yun. Guess what? Eh, cancellation na naman. <laughs> Hindi talaga ako nakagising ng maaga. Kaya, look. Negative 80 na naman tayo ulit, mga kumars. That's sad, but you know, important to have a rest. Okay, hindi ko ipagpapalit yung 80 ko sa medyo mahimbing kong tulog. Less than 1 kilo lang yung ma-earn ko. But it's okay since I was not feeling well, but still I was able to manage to do classes. The next day, June 8, I took a day off. Buti na lang talaga patapos na yung mga reserve classes ko ng mga araw na June 7 at June 8. Kasi I had to take a break. Puhunan natin ang ating katawan, you have to rest. But my mind was always thinking, sayang pera ngayon, sayang. And again, at the end of the day, health is well. I closed all my slots since hindi naman na-reserve yung slots ko. That's after June 1 to June 7 na kasi June 10. I was very productive during this day off because um, I was thinking um, I need to do something that is not that heavy. So something that would re relieve me from stress. Because I put on my makeup. Yeah. Stress reliever ko ang pag lalagay ng makeup. On this day, June 8, I filmed a makeup tutorial since dumating na din yung package ko na in order online. So, I had to make a makeup tutorial plus a review of the makeup palette, the eyeshadow palette that I received from Shopee. So, yeah. I also took this time to film the introduction of my previous video, the Native Camp Journey application process. That was the time that I took a break in NC. Yung naka-orange ako, yung previous video ko, hindi mo na panood, panoorin mo sis. Pero orin mo mga kumars. Also, I tried filming an introduction video for my NC profile. Konnichiwa! This is Teacher Lenzo Native Cow. Do you want to improve your English skills in the easiest and most enjoyable way? Yes, you are looking at the right person. Come and join me in my class. Surely, your 25 minutes will be worth it all the way. So what are you waiting for? Book your reservations now. I can't wait to see you in class. Bye! But then again, hindi nila matanggap-tanggap. Hindi ba ako tanggap-tanggap? Hindi. Hello. Hindi nila ako matanggap. Hindi nila tinanggap yung aking profile video na Trinay ko ay upload kasi daw napaka hina ng bosses ko. I have to use a headset while doing that. Kaya yun, pagtsagaan nyo muna yung napaka cringe na introduction video ko sa aking profile. I say, the nicer your profile is, the more students you get. So, and then June 9 na. Yes, for June 9, I decided to take a day off also. So, para two days din. But I realized that it's June 9 and the next day is a payday, June 10. And I felt guilty na hindi ako mag conduct ng class. Kasi it's quite comforting but you have this in mind na um, napaka unproductive ko couch potato parang matutulang na mantika. Yes. Gusto mo gusto mo rest pero the other side of you is thinking sayang ang araw at napaka unproductive mo na yan. For June 9, standby ako ng 2 hours. Kaya I got I think 200. Look. Chinek ko nung umaga, hindi kasi, wala pa kasi. So, akala ko, ang aga ko naman yata mag-check. Napaka-excited naman. Kaya, ayun, um, ginamit ko muna yung pera ko. Nag-order ako, but, psh, 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 psh. dumating na si June 10. Hintay natin lahat. Which is our payday. So, supposed to be, this is my very first payday in Native Camp. So, I was expecting, I was expecting na the, papasok na sa aking account, BPI account yung um, sweldo. So, nag-order na ako ng Jollibee. Kumain na ang pamilya. Kinek ko ulit yung aking BPI. At hindi pa pumasok yung sweldo. Kaya, kinabahan talaga ako. Akala ko, oh my God. Scam ba si NC? Bakit hindi pumasok yung sweldo ko? 
But then I realized, and kapag hindi mo na bigay yung bank details mo um, before May 31, hindi mo receive yung salary mo sa June 10. So ako, binigay ko lang yung bank details ko around June, first week of June. Kaya yun, kaya pala ganun. At least, na-enjoy ko din yung first salary vibes ko, although hindi ko talaga na-receive siya. But babayaran ko rin naman yun, <laughs> sarili kong pera sa NC na sweldo ko. Ito talaga ang pagka not feeling well ko sa araw na to. And yes, dumating na si June 11. June 11, medyo hindi pa mabuti yung aking pangangatawan. Standby lang ako ng... Um, I think three hours, ganun. And also, for this day, June 13, I had one reservation for the next day, June 14. Anyway, for this day, June 13, baka akalain nyo biglang lumaki yung aking salary. Um, hindi po, hindi, since hindi ko na-receive yung last payday ko na salary, na-add yung extra coins, uh, leftover coins ko from the previous cut-off to this cut-off. Kaya po, naging 24k yan. Hindi ko po yan na-earn in just a few days. And now, June 14, I have earned around 300 pesos lang. Um, Sabing classes lang din at hindi ako masyadong nag-standby. I had one reserve class for this day, June 14, and that was my last reserve class for this cut-off. And now is June 15. June 15, um, hindi ako nag-class. Nag-day off na naman lang mga homers. Yes, June 15, hindi ako nag-class. Enjoy ko yung mga babies na nabili ko galing sa NC Sun. What? And if you guys are interested in how I spent it, I'll also make a video on the things that I bought and the things that I've invested on the, from my NC salary. If you guys are interested, that will be my, I think, one of the next videos that I'll upload, how I spent my NC salary. Yay! That's it, mga kumars. That's the journey that I had on my very first complete cut-off in NC. Um, yes, hindi, first complete cut-off, pero marami ako ang tinake the day off. But it's okay. La, uh, lawas. It's okay. Lasawan natin ang ating kumunan. Kaya wag natin itong... Ang um, ipush ng ipush, kailangan din natin mag-rest. Kaya yun. So, so, for this cut-off, June 1 to 15, 2020, I had three day, full day off. And meron din araw, mga araw na two hours or three hours na ako nag-class. So, legit around 10 days ko lang din. At tinarabaho yung aking salary for this cut-off. But it's okay. I am still very overwhelmed. I'm still very satisfied with what I've earned. For a part-time job, this is big enough. But sabi nila, it's not about how much you earn, but it's about how much you save. Mga kumars, that's my first complete cut-off in Native Camp. I hope that you are inspired. Paano ka may inspired kung palagi lang nakaday on? <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope that you are inspired to continue your journey here in Native Camp. Hindi siya madali, pero kailangan mo talagang magpursige at kailangan mo maging patient. Kasi Native Camp is not for impatient people. You have to go on standby and when you go on standby, hindi ka palaging napapasukan ng students. Kaya we have to work hard for our rating. We have to be available for NC talaga so we can go on standby for sudden classes. And the very important one is we have to do our best with every lesson that we have na kailangan natin, aim talaga natin is 5 stars from our students because the rating really matters in Native Camp. So starting June 1 pala, yung rating ko is 4.8 something lang. Diba no first week ko is 5 because I had one sudden class. But after after the first week, after the 6 days, yung previous vlog ko, after yung 6 days na yun, yung rating ko is down to 4.83 I think or 4.7, I'm not sure. But because I opened a lot of schedules and they were enticed to book my class because of the free reservation, kaya marami pa din akong students, kaya naka-earn pa din ako, marami din akong book classes. So the trick ko talaga, it's all about strategy. <laughs> But I'm not an expert that was just based on my experience. And you cannot also compare your journey to mine because hindi talaga natin ma-predict si Naked Camp. Hindi natin ma-predict yung students kung anong rating ang bibigay nila. Basta all we have to consider is we have to do our best all the time. Okay? So if nabigay mo yung best mo sa kada classes mo sa Naked Camp, wala kang pagsisisi. Right? Kailangan mo ng focus talaga. Focus, focus, focus. So that's it. <laughs> Mga Kumars, we've come to the end of this video. I hope that you are really inspired. Please continue teaching in Native Camp and be patient, keep safe, stay at home. And also, if you have any questions about um, Native Camp, if you have queries, um, do not hesitate to message me. I'll put in the description box all my other social media accounts. Hi Mga Kumar! hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching until this end. I hope to see you again on my next one. Bye!